I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do a battery swap, whether you're using a zero turn mower, a tractor, or a Harley Davidson motorcycle, or whatever you may have, you can use a lithium battery, so a LiPo 4 battery, to do that. You just gotta buy the correct one because you have to have large cranking amps to do that. Today, we're using a marine starting battery by Lee Time, and this is a 12.8 volt battery with 20 amp hours of capacity. I'm not really worried about the capacity as much as I am the cranking amps on these. And we have a hot cranking amps, that's the HCA of 900 amps, and the marine cranking amps of 810 amps, and the code cranking amps, which is what you see on most batteries for your car, is CCA of 650 amps. Because what we're looking for is that surge to start up the zero turn. And for this swap, we're gonna do it just like we would any other battery. We're just going to open up our seat because that's where our battery is located on this mower. We'll take a look at this interstate battery that's currently installed which is much less code cranking amps, 300 code cranking amps versus that 650 code cranking amps that we're getting out of the new lithium battery by lead time. And I'll leave this in the description below, a link to it. This is gonna be perfect for any zero turn mower. Just make sure that the size of it is correctly. This should be almost identical to the battery that's down there because they come in classes. And like I said, just be sure to check out what class your battery's in and lead time will have that for you. But for this battery, it matches this interstate battery identical to it other than this has a five-year warranty on it. And I will challenge you to check any lead acid battery to see if any of them have five-year warranties on them because lithium or LiPo4 batteries, LFP batteries, have a longer lifespan. They have more cycles that, that they can go through versus these batteries that are typically in most of our small engine um, motors or these zero turns or our tractors or small tractor like that I might have or a Harley Davidson, which I did a swap on that. I did not record it, but I did add one of these type of batteries in a Harley Davidson as well. So anyway, let's take out the battery and see how well this will perform starting this up. Let me just do a quick demonstration here real fast. I did warm this zero turn up earlier, bringing it in, but we're having a problem with it actually starting or wanting to start. It doesn't happen every time. Let's see if I can capture it on camera. Did you hear where it actually wanted to stop before it went to fire? Sometimes that will click and click and click, but then eventually I'll get it to fire up. So I know my battery is starting to get bad on this mower. So let's get into the actual install. We need to take this off because that has been zip tied on there to make sure that there's no damage to the seat sensor. So we'll just snip this and then we'll loosen these up, take this out and then loosen our bolts and pull the battery out. Let's try this one first. Oh, well, that actually came off there a lot easier than I anticipated, actually. And then hopefully that one comes off just as easy. Well, not bad at all. This is the actual class. This is an SP35. And we can look up the battery that we need by getting this class number off of here so we're creating the correct size. I always take a measurement of my batteries before I buy it because sometimes they sit in cases like this one does. So we have these uh, points here to secure the battery. And that's the reason you always wanna look for the SP35 or whatever class of your battery that it is. So you're looking for the size of the battery. Then you wanna make sure that your cranking amps exceeds or at least meets what's currently in the vehicle. Um, I'll always try to exceed it.
that I should be wearing gloves, but I'm gonna wash my hands off really quickly here in a second. So I'm gonna grab this battery out of here. Now let's do some comparisons. Ooh, it's kind of gross on the bottom, but we'll do some comparisons of the battery that we've just taken out and we're putting in to see how closely to the size that we got and the weight difference between them. Because this might not matter in a zero turn mower, but it could matter if weight is an issue. Maybe in something like a drag car where you're trying to reduce the overall weight of the vehicle. And we wanna keep in mind that this is actually more capacity in this battery than this battery here. But let's just look at the weight difference. That one is 16 pounds right on it. This one is 9.8 pounds. This has got more capacity. It's a stronger battery in general, weighs less. Overall, this is just gonna be a better battery for this application. And I'm just gonna place this right back in to the spot that it was at. And the good thing about this bracket system is that it can be adjusted. So if it doesn't fit, and hold my battery down exactly like I want, which I think it's going to. I don't, I'm not gonna to have to worry about it because it fits perfectly. And now, for the moment of truth. And I should note that this is just as easy as changing any other battery. I didn't have to have any special equipment. Basically, you just swap them in and out. So now for the moment of truth, let's start this up.